Hello! Welcome back to GERTC Videos, daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. In this video, we will discuss the third part of the series. This will be the last part, bolted connection, particularly tension member. Uh, according to 2015 NSCP, which is of course based on AIFT. Alright, in the last, the first part, we discussed the gross area yielding and the net area rupture. The big area, sorry. Alright, area rupture. And the second part, we discussed the bolt shield strength and the bearing at bolt holes. Alright, in this part, we will discuss Black shear strength. Black shear strength. Alright. So, let's go back to our problem. This is our problem. Okay. The white plus is connected to the column. They say this is a column by 12 volts attached to a gasset plate. So, we will just assume that the gasset plate, the welding, the connection of the gasset plate to the column is adequate. So the bolt are bolts are 16 mm at 18 mm holes. The gasset thickness is 12, and then FYFU. Okay, I hope you have watched the first part and the second part so that you can fully understand this part here. Alright, and given the properties of the white plan section. Okay, why a uh, black shear? Uh, anyway, just a recap of our first two parts. In the first part, we have discussed the load based capacity based on the gross area yielding of the W section and then based on the net area rupture of the W section, this is it. And then uh, based on uh, bolt shear strength, bolt shear strength and based on bearing at bolt holes. Okay, these are the Modes of failure we discussed in part 1 and in part 2. Alright, so part 3 will be black shear. Now, there are two possible black shear failures here. One is on the gusset plate and the other one is on the white flat section. The distances are given here. Let's do first the white flat for the white plant section. Based on black shear of the white plant section. This is it. Imagine this will be loaded, this will tear off on the flanges and it will look like this. So, black shear, combined shear and tension. As you can see here, this part here is shear and this part here is tension. That will be it. And there are four identical pieces. There are four identical pieces. The distances are given. S1, this will be shear, shear. And this here is tension. Tension. It will not move here because this has a web. It's impossible that will this will tear somewhere here. This is weaker than this going on into this direction. Okay, so our S1, S2, S3, and here we will be using the effective hole diameter. That will be the hole diameter plus 2 mm. Take note, it was stated in the code that in computing the net area for shear and tension, you must add 2 mm from the nominal hole diameter. Okay, it's in the code. I discussed that in part 1. Alright, the black shear strength is given by this. Let's visit first our code. Our code requirements, structural steel, Okay, uh, right. Uh, bolted connection. Right, so we have here our black shear strength. Let's read this first. Section 5.10.4.3 The available strength for limit states of black shear rupture along shear uh, failure path or paths and a perpendicular tension failure path shall be taken as Rn equals 0.6 Fu ANB plus UBS Fu ANT, but it must not exceed this quantity here. 
where your fee is 0.75 and your omega is 2.00. What is your AGB? AGB is the gross area subject to shear. Take note, gross area. AMP is the net area in tension and AMV is the net area subject to shear. The net area subject to shear is the gross area minus the holes. Okay, UBS. This is comparative to a shear lag factor, but we have the value is only 1 or 0.5. 1 if the tension stress is uniform, and if the tension is non uniform, UBS is equal to 0.5. Alright? So these are the different scenarios for 1. So welded end, we have here angle ends. Okay, UBS is 1. The case wherein UBS is 0.5 is if you have multiple row beam end connection this is 0.5 so for our problem it is similar to this very similar to this the UBS will be 1.0 okay so we have here our code you just visit this website grtc.online and navigate on our page this is free this is free in fact we have here example problems on black shear, or, uh, we already have sample problems here. Uh, voltage connection, example, let's say example number 15. So we have here sample problems of black shear. You can click this to show or hide the solution. This is free. You can watch this anytime. Okay, let's go back. So, ito yan. RN is equal to 0.6 FU. So let's compute first A and B. ANT and AGB. So AGB muna, the gross shear area. Let's just consider one part and then multiply that by 4. For our AGB, this is the gross up to this portion here. The gross shear area that will be S1 plus 2S2 times the thickness of the flange TF. Okay, by the way, the properties are given here. The Thickness of the flange is 10.3. Okay, so that's given. Alright, S1, S2, S3 are given. DE is 20. So that will give you times 4 huh? because there are 4 slots here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ito. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that will be 8,240 square mm. Let's is, le next is our AMV net shear area for a and b that will be a g v minus the holes okay how big how many holes okay per slot or per part that will be one two and one half two and one half of the effective hole diameter 2.5 de times the thickness of the flange okay and then take note that this should be times four Hey, kasi because there are 4 Take note, this will not be multiplied by 4 already anymore Because that was already multiplied by 4 here 8,240, this is it So this one here is for one part only So we will multiply that by 4 So A and B is equal to 6180 square mm A and B Alright, and our A and T is this part here That will be S3 minus our uh, one half of the effective bolt diameter s3 is 30 mm minus 10 that will give you 10 times tf times 4 4 kasi 4 oh. 1 2 3 and 4 824 square mm of course our ubs is 1 okay so what we will do here because it says here that it should not exceed this quantity here but it must not be taken more than this so let's compute na lang this one let's call it rn1 and this as rn2 rn1 0.6 fu anb ubs fu ant just substitute the values that will give you 1812.8 and our rn2 is this one right Okay. Of course, we will use the lesser value of the two, the minimum of RN1 and RN2. Okay, so we will be using 155. 
0.712. Finally, the reduction factors are 0.75 for phi and 2 for omega. So the design strength is phi rm. Okay? As an example, again. And the allowable strength is rn over omega. Example, how to apply that? Your ru or rn must not exceed. RU or PU must not exceed PRN. Ito naman, your R or the service load must not exceed the allowable load. Okay. So, that is for the wide flange section. Duck shear on the wide flange section. Now, how about duck shear on the gasset plate? How will it happen? Duck shear on gasset plate. Okay, if this will tear off, it will look like this. Look. Uh, we don't have data on how much is this left. So, we will assume that that is very wide. That it, can't ha it, can't happen. it cannot happen. So, the failure will look with travel from here, going here. This is the shear. Four, apat lahat. Isa, one, two, three, and four. That's it for the shear. For the tension, dalawa. Two, one and two. Only two. Okay? Let's compute that. So again, our S1, S2, BF is BF is the we need our BF here because we have to compute for S4. We will compute S4 later. Okay. Let's have first AGV. The gross shear area. That will be similar to what we have before. Only the thickness that we'll be using here will be the thickness of the gasset plate, which in this case is 12 mm. So our AGB is equal to S1 plus 2S2 times the thickness of the gasset plate, 12 mm. This is 12 mm. So this will give us, okay, times 4 because 1, 2, 3, and 4 AGV. Very similar to the what we did uh, on black shear for the of the of the flange or uh, of the beam, and then our A and B will be AGV less the holes. The holes is 2.5 holes times the thickness of the gusset, and then times four. 2.5. That will be one, two, and one half times the thickness of the gusset times four. Right? So that will give you 7,200. Again, we do not include AGB. We will not multiply that by 4 because it was already multiplied by 4 here. AGB here is 9,600. Right? And we need our ANT. So before we can do that, we will solve first this one. S4. So what is S4? S4 will be BF, the width of the plants, minus 2S3. The width of the plants is 102 mm. That will give us 42 mm. So that our AMT will be S4 minus DE. DE. A one half of both diameter here plus one half of both diameter. That will become 1 DE. So that will be S4 minus DE times the thickness of the gasset plate. And then times 2. 1 and 2. 528 square mm. Of course, our UBS is also equal to 1. Finally, our RN, just similar to what we did in the gasset, uh, in the white plants a while ago. So it will be computed from this and RN2. Right? So R and 2 and then we will use the lesser we will use the lesser value of the 2 so the lesser is 1639 okay so finally our uh, by the way our reduction factors and a uh, factor of safety finally our design strength is uh, 1229.76 just an example on how to apply that and the allowable strength is Rn over V. Okay. So that concludes our 
problem. So we investigated all possible except for the welding of the gasket plate to the column. We don't have that here. Okay? So we will have more videos similar to this coming. So again, please navigate. Don't forget to navigate. This is for free. And uh, let me again uh, introduce you uh, to our newly published book. You can click this link here, this menu, and we will lead you to our previous page. So this is our latest book published, just released today, uh, April, uh, May 13. So this has 754 pages, over 1,000 problems. Okay, so this is the first part of the review, first half of the review. Three subjects, okay? Ang wala dito yung steel, concrete, wala pa dito. Uh, Geotech, wala pa rin dito. Okay? We'll have that in volume 2. That will be later on. If you want to order, you can order this book in Lazada. That link or menu, we already have that in Lazada. We just published this today. Okay? So, ayan. So, I hope you learned a lot from this uh, video series. Okay, hope to see you on our next uh, video. So, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. Thank you so much for watching.